everybody. Sean here with Mission Yoga. Uh, we're starting a, an outdoor flow today since it's so beautiful. So hope you guys can join in with us and make yourself comfortable. Hopefully you have a space outside where you can set up. As you can see I have a nice little patio set up here by the water. So let's just take a few moments. Maybe you're outside. Maybe you don't have access to an outdoor space, no problem. But just take a few moments to ground. Find your center. Find a comfortable spot on your mat. Wherever that may be. Hopefully my connection is good enough out here. Just give a wave if you can hear me. I think we're okay, but... So make your way onto your mat. Take a few moments. We'll begin in seated today. Just take a few moments. Find a comfortable seat on your mat. Find your breath. Maybe take this time to set an intention for your practice today. Whatever that means to you, an intention can be a mantra, a wish, putting out a little light and energy into the universe and dedication to your practice, to your flow. Again, whatever that means to you today. Deep, full, meaningful breaths in and out of your nose from your comfortable seat. As you exhale, let's twist over to the right. So your right hand will come back behind you. Your left arm is on the outside edge of your right leg. Gaze behind you. Look over your right shoulder. Continue to breathe. Deep, full, meaningful breaths in and out of your nose. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, let's twist over to the left. Right hand to the outside edge of your right. Left leg, left hand comes back behind you. Deep breaths in. Deep breaths out. Eventually come back to center on an inhale. Bring the hands up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. Simply fold forward, walk your hands out in front of you. Fingertip, tent your fingertips, and fold. Breathe in, breathe out. From here, we'll make our way over to tabletop. Palms will be under shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Just come right into free movement, starting to sway in the hips. Continue to breathe in and out of your nose. You like to make little circles at the hips, the neck, warming up the body, warming up the spine, firing up your core. And then you can start to incorporate some cats and cows if you haven't already. Inhaling through cow, arch the back, exhale round the spine, chin to chest. Deep breaths in, gazing forward. Deep breaths out, rounding the spine through calf. Continue that flow with your own breath, deep, full breaths in and out. A few more times like that. Let's get one more full cycle of breath. Return to a neutral spine. Breathe fully in and out of your nose, come back to center. From here, we're just gonna roll over on our toes into bear pose. So we're gonna lift up our knees and leave our hands planted, just to fire up your core, 
your center body. Whenever you're ready, start to lift the knees, come up onto the balls of the feet and breathe. Breathe in and out, pressing deeply through the palms into the ground beneath you. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale, drop your knees, find child's pose, wide-legged with the knees, sink the seat back, extend the arms forward, forehead down. your child's pose, come into your first downward facing dog. Roll over the feet, pedal out the feet and breathe. Walking your dog, making a little space in the backs of your legs. Finding plank, rolling forward, Palms underneath the shoulders, balls of the feet were balanced on. Deep breaths in and out, continuing to fire up the core. Breath is nice and full. A few breaths here, deep inhales and exhales, breathing in and out of your nose if you can. Take one more deep inhale, exhale back to downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and a full release out. Inhale, come up onto your toes. Exhale, bend your knees and just tiptoe feet to hands. Take your time to make your way to the top of your mat. Once you get there, let's take a half lift. On an inhale, gaze forward. As you exhale, fold into ragdoll. Feet hip width distance apart, grab opposite elbow and just let gravity bring the crown of your head down. You can sway, gentle movement, so hold stillness here. Eventually planting deeply through the feet, release your fingertips. Roll up to standing, chin and chest last to lift. So gently roll the spine up, rounding the back. Chin and chest are the last to lift up. Deep, full breath in. Deep, full breath out to mountain pose. Let's zip up the feet. Big toes touch. Knees touch. Breathe in. Breathe out. Sun salutation A. Let's get right into a flow. Deep inhale. Reach the arms up. Palms touch. Exhale. Fold forward and release. Inhale. Half lift. Gaze forward. Exhale, plant your palms, find plank to lower. Take a full breath in to find plank. As you exhale, either knees, chest, and chin, or right through your push-up. Inhale forward and through, upward facing. Exhale, roll over your feet, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep release out. Come up onto the toes, bend the knees, gaze forward, inhale. Exhale, step or flow, top of your mat. Inhale, feet zip up, gaze forward, flat back. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, root to rise, palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Breath in, breath out. One more time, sun salutation A. On an inhale, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, fold forward, release. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward. Exhale, plant palms, step or float through chaturanga, elbows in tight to lower, wherever you're comfortable, either dropping the knees or finding a push-up. Flowing back to down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale onto the toes, bend knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float, top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, plant through the feet, lift up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Right into Sun B, let's sink the seat and find awkward chair. Sun Salutation B, let's take a few moments here. 
find your lower body, find the glutes, your quads, maybe sink a little deeper, biceps or by the ears. One more breath, deep inhale. Exhale, fold over straightened legs, release. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward. Exhale, plant palms, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, forward and through, upward facing. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, bend knee, open up hip. Take a few moments. Find your side body, ground through the feet and hands. Circle that right ankle if you'd like, open the knee. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, re-extend leg, down dog split. Exhale, knee to chest, warrior one. Take your time to rise up. Find your footing, find your core, and lift up through expression. Deep breaths in and out of your nose. Maybe straighten that right leg, re-bend it. Take a few moments to find your first warrior one. deep inhale through expression exhale frame your foot step back to plank lower down chaturanga inhale forward and through upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog breathe in the left leg up exhale bend knee open up hip take a few moments here circle your left ankle wiggle your toes make space we're going at our own pace Inhale, straighten left leg, down dog split. Exhale, knee to chest, find warrior one. A few breaths to get there. Take your time to rise up through expression. Straighten the front leg, rebend if you need to. Feet are hip width distance apart. Ample stance between the feet. Biceps are by the ears. Breathe. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, frame your foot, step back to plank and lower down, chaturanga. Inhale forward and through, exhale back, take a few breaths. Leg lifts on an inhale. Exhale, knee to chest, warrior one. Take your time to rise up. Breath in, breath out to flow. Step back to lower. Inhale, forward and through, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Exhale, knee to chest, low lunge, right foot forward, we're going to drop onto our left knee. Take your time to open up the hips, especially that left hip, hands can just stay on our thighs. We're probably still really tight, so take your time if you'd like to find full expression by lifting the arms, taking any back bend variation, your choice. Listen to your body, do what suits you right now, don't push yourself. Let your breath carry you deeper through the pose, through the posture, through your flow. Where 
of your right inhale, leave the arms up. Exhale, frame your foot. Come up onto the ball of the back foot for simple twists. Left hand plants, right arm up. Breathe in. Breathe out. You can stay right here. Maybe take a half bind to increase your twist. One more breath. Extend the arm on an inhale. Exhale, frame your foot, meet in down dog. Either step back to lower or step right into your down dog. Left side, left leg lifts on an inhale. Exhale, knee to chest, low lunge. Left foot forward, right knee drops. Bring the hands up onto the left thigh. Stay right here if you need to. Or find a deeper version of the pose. Breath by breath, find the posture that suits you. Deep into that right psoas muscle. Maybe we're back bending. Maybe we're taking it easy. Listen to your body. Open up at your will. Increase the pose as you like. Or keep it soft. Releasing any binds or back bends. Inhale. Reach the arms up. Exhale, frame foot, step back to lower, meet in down dog. Inhale, bend knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sink seat, rise up. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale, sink seat, lift the arms up. Exhale, stay squatted down and just reach the arms back. One more time, through awkward chair with the arms, deep inhale, deep exhale, sweep the arms back. From here, we'll straighten the legs, come up to standing, chin and chest, last to lift, mountain pose. Breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out. Inhale, reach the arms up. This time maybe take a gentle back bend, tucking the hips forward, reaching the heart up. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale, fold forward, release. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward. Exhale, plant palms, step or flow through chaturanga. Lead in your down dog. Skip chaturanga anytime you like as it's cued. Your choice your practice. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, core plank hold. Inhale, up and back with that right leg. Exhale, knee to chest. One more time. Inhale, down dog split. Exhale, knee to chest. Warrior one. Rise up on an inhale. Take a deep exhale. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Come up onto the ball of the back foot. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, straighten and reach. Exhale, lunge, release the shoulders. Inhale, straighten and reach. Exhale, bend, shoulders down. Last time, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Release the shoulders. You can stay right here or take a bind. Take a back bend if you're comfortable. From here, we'll find warrior three, with or without the bind, airplane pose. Step into the right leg, lift the left. If that bind is comfortable, hold on to it, flex the arms, flex the legs. Inhale, come on up to standing. Release the binds, bring the left knee in for a squeeze. Deep breaths in and out. We're gonna stay balanced and we're gonna come into a twist. So our right hand comes to the outside edge of the left thigh, our left arm scoots back. You can stay right here. If you're comfortable increasing the twist, extend the right leg with the bind around the left foot with the right hand. Listen to your body. Hold it and breathe. 
releasing the vines, come back to center, inhale, lift that left leg, exhale, warrior three into high lunge, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, frame foot, simple twist into side plank, left arm, right arm comes up rather, plant into the left foot, stay here in the twist or find a side plank variation, your choice. Hands down, lower down, chaturanga, meet in down dog. Left side, left leg up on an inhale. Exhale, knee to chest, core plank. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to chest. Last time, inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to chest, warrior one. Come on up. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, straighten the left leg, come up onto the ball of the back foot. Exhale, high lunge. Inhale, straighten, arms stay up. Exhale, bend the left leg, drop the arms. Inhale, straighten, reach. Exhale, re-bend. Last time, and we'll hold a lunge. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Arms sweep back, you can interlace them. Take a moment, maybe take a back bend here on this side. Eventually sending the weight forward into power lunge. Keep the bind or release it, warrior three. Breathe through the pose. Stay strong, stay present. Stay balanced in that left leg, release the binds, bring the right knee in for a squeeze. Maybe circle the ankle a moment. Eventually take your balance twist. Left hand to the outside edge of the right thigh, right arm comes back. You can stay right here or take that extended right leg. Release the bind, straighten that right leg, arms stay down. Come back through warrior three, high lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, frame foot, simple twist into side plank. Take your time to get there, three to five breaths. Any variation of the pose, open up. Stay strong, stay with it. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, back to plank. Either choose to lower or just meet in down dog. We'll take a child's pose for a moment. Inhale, forward and through. Exhale, down dog. Child's pose. Let's bring the knees out nice and wide. Sink your seat back. Reach the arms forward or bring them back. Three to five breaths. Just a touch down. Get out of the shoulders a little further. Come back to that intention you may have set for your practice today. Take a deep inhale and a deep sigh out of your mouth. Come back to center, meet in down dog. Roll over the feet, roll over the palms of the hands, pedal the feet out a moment, lifting each heel alternatively. Eventually on your next inhale, lift the right leg up and back. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Sorry about that, guys. Tough connection. I think we're okay now. So let's meet back in our down dog. Stay with me. <laughs> Apologize for that uh, little mishap. We should be connected now. Okay, so we're meeting back in our downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet a moment, come back to your breath. Find some peace. Exhale, right arm down to the thigh, left arm up for side angle. Two more times like that, dancing warrior. Inhale, up and back. 
find some peace. Exhale, right arm down, left arm up. Last time and we'll hold. Inhale, flip it up, send it back. Exhale through your side angle. Right arm comes down to the thigh, left arm comes back up. You can increase this pose as you'd like. If you'd like to bring maybe a full bind, your choice, up to you. Whenever you're ready, take three to five breaths in any variation of the pose that suits you today. Releasing any binds. Inhale yourself back up, warrior two, right into balance, half moon. Step into the right foot, lift the left, find the pose. Flex your left leg. Breathe fully. Take in one final breath, deep inhale. Exhale, fingertips down, revolved half moon. So the left fingertips stay down, the right arm comes up. So we're just taking a twist, opposite of that pose. Breathe fully. Last deep inhale. Exhale, fingertips down, let's crouch down, left knee behind right knee. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, left knee behind right knee. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, right knee, left knee behind right knee. This time on an inhale, we're gonna extend and hold a few breaths in our standing split. Maybe the hands walk closer to that right standing foot. Maybe the hands stay under the shoulders. Wherever you're at, continue to breathe. One more deep inhale, exhale, runner's lunge. Step that left foot down, bring the hands to the inside edge of your right foot for lizard lunge. Take a moment, find the pose, five to seven breaths in any variation of a lizard lunge. So your hands will be coming to the inside edge of your right foot. You can drop the knee, you can take a bind, you can drop to your elbows to increase that psoas opening. You can twist if you're comfortable there. Take a few more breaths. Eventually releasing any binds, come back to your lizard lunge, come up onto the ball of the back foot, and we're gonna take forearm plank. So take your nine, time to drop to your elbows, interlace fingers, meet both of the feet behind you, try to touch the big toes. If you're comfortable, you can rock back and forth, you can lift each foot alternatively. Fire up your core, breathe fully. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale, drop to the knees for Sphinx Pose. Take a few breaths, elbows are underneath shoulders, palms are planted. Lift the upper body, release the lower body completely. Glutes down to your toes, completely release. Take your time to drop your chin. And then we're gonna inhale ourselves up through reverse plank, push up to down dog. So the hands will come underneath the shoulders, chin drops, roll over the balls of the feet, flex the legs, push up, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Last time, inhale up and back. Exhale, left knee forward. Back foot drops, warrior two. Cartwheel the hands up. Find the pose a moment. Dancing warrior, inhale, flip left palm. Find some peace. Exhale, left arm down, right arm up. 
Inhale, Dancing Warrior, flip it up and back. Exhale, Side Eagle. Last time, inhale, up and back. Keep that deep lunge. Exhale, Side Angle, any version. Maybe you'd like a half bind, maybe a full bind. Three more breaths. binds. Inhale yourself up through warrior two, right into half moon. Step into the left, lift the right. Find the expression of the pose. Open up. One last deep inhale. Exhale, fingertips down, right knee behind left knee. Crouch down into a ball. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, right knee behind left knee. Inhale, down dog, or standing split. Exhale, right knee, left knee. This time we'll extend on an inhale. Hold your variation of standing split. Bring the hands back underneath the shoulders. I forgot revolved half moon, so we'll take it now. Right hand stays down, left arm up. Take that twist on the opposite side. Just another breath in. Exhale, fingertips down, runner's lunge into lizard lunge. Left foot comes forward, hands to the inside edge of your left foot. Five to seven breaths to find your variation of the pose. You can stay right here. You can drop to the elbows, drop to the knee. Take your twists, take your binds. Make it your own. Last deep inhale, release out of any binds. Last deep exhale. This time, come up onto the hands from Lizard Lunge. We'll meet in a yogi squat at the top of our mat. So take your time, find a squat. Toes out, heels in, hands to heart. Stay right here for a few moments. Taking your time, come back to your breath, come back to that intention. will tempt down. Inhale, the right arm comes up. You can stay right here. Maybe take a half bind with that right arm behind the shoulder, or the right arm behind the back, rather. Full bind, left arm interlaces behind you. Interlace the fingertips, or even an article of clothing. Grab under your shirt. Try to reach that right heart side open. Heart open to the right, rather. And just leave that breath full in and out of your nose. Stay present. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, right arm down, left arm up. Exhale, increase the pose. Maybe that half bind, maybe a full bind. Take three more breaths through your twists really trying to lift that heart out and open to the left. Belly button is engaged toward your core. Breath is full. Eventually come back to center. Take your time to fold either ragdoll or yogi toe lock, piece fingers around the big toes, top of the mat. Standing forward, bending the knees as much as you need to, breathing fully in and out of your nose. Two more breaths. release 
Notice any binds, come up to standing. Vertebrae by vertebrae, chin and chest, last to lift. Zip up the feet, mountain pose, inhale. Deep exhale, flushing that all out with the vinyasa. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, release. Inhale for a half lift, neutral spine. Exhale, plant palms, meet in down dog. Either step or float back, find your chaturanga. Inhale, forward and through, up dog. Exhale, roll over the feet, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest, high lunge. Coming up on an inhale. Opening up as you exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the leg, arms reach up. Exhale, warrior two, flying warrior. Inhale, straighten and reach. Exhale, rebend. Last time, inhale, straighten and reach. Exhale, rebend. Flip your right palm, find some peace, peaceful warrior. Breathe in, breathe out. Straighten that right leg, peaceful triangle on an inhale. Exhale, bump the hips out, reach forward out and down for triangle pose. Any variation, half bind, extend it over the head, lift both arms, your choice. Three more breaths. Inhale, lift yourself back up, toes in, heels out, wide legged forward fold. Take your time. To walk the toes in, pigeon toeing, extend the arms out to a T, lift your heart on the inhale, as you exhale, fold forward, guiding your heart between your legs toward the middle of your legs, eventually tenting your fingertips, maybe walking the hands closely underneath your body. back to the breath a moment. If tripod or tripod headstand is in your practice, take your time to find it. You know where you're going. Tripod, but then slowly pike down. Wherever you're at, tent the fingertips, find a half lift, and fold. Inhale yourself all the way back up, arms back out to a T, warrior two to float back down to the other side. Deep inhale, exhale, cartwheel the hands down and flow. Meet in down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to chest, high lunge to come up. Deep inhale. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Flying warrior, inhale, straighten and reach. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, flying warrior. Exhale, rebend. Last time, inhale, straighten. Exhale, rebend. Flip your left palm, find some peace. Peaceful warrior, inhale, and exhale. Straighten that left leg, peaceful triangle on an inhale. Exhale, bump the hips out, reach forward, out and down, triangle pose. Take your time, go deep, breath by breath, find that increase, find that flex in your legs, and that deep opening. Eventually, carefully, gently lift yourself up. Let's come right into that wide-legged forward fold again, this time at the bind, behind your back. Toes in, heels out, interlace fingers. Inhale to lift your heart. Exhale, fold forward. You can interlace fingers, you can grab opposite elbow, or reverse prayer, your choice.
into the shoulders. Continue to breathe. Releasing any binds. Inhale the hands to the hips. Find a half lift and gently rise all the way up to standing. Meeting in the center of your mat for tree pose. Take a moment, come back through mountain to reset. Eventually finding your way into your left foot and balance. Flex all four corners of that foot, toes to heels, and gently begin to lift the right knee. When you're comfortable, right knee comes to the inside edge of your thigh, your calf, or the ground beneath you. Find balance, find a little peace, and balance tree pose. Hands can stay at your heart. If you'd like to increase the pose, maybe coming through temple, lifting the arms through expression, maybe full tree. Breathe fully wherever you're at. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, carefully lower down. Shake that side out, returning to mountain pose. And come into balance on that opposite side. Right foot plants all four corners of that foot. Hands to the hips to find balance. Lift the left knee. When you're ready, find expression. Left foot plants to the inside edge of your right leg. Hands to the heart full expression. Five to seven more breaths. Take your time. Make it your own. This is your time. This is your practice, your space, your peace. deep breath out. Carefully lower down, release that side, shake it out, meet in mountain pose at the top of your mat. Take a full breath in and a full release out. From mountain pose we'll reach the arms up on an inhale. As we exhale let's fold forward, swan dive down. Inhale half lift, gaze forward. Exhale, plant palms, step or float, chaturanga, elbows in tight as you lower. Inhale, forward and through, upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Coming to your seat for a moment, let's sit on our knees. Take your time. Coming into a few back bends from our seat. We'll start in hero's pose. So hero's pose, we're just bringing the knees together and the feet out to graze our glutes. Feel the heels away from your thighs as you sit between your seat. Maybe use a block or a pillow underneath your seat if this is too much. And then we're gonna tent our fingertips back, fingertips facing forward. When you're ready from here, we're just gonna lift our heart center to take that back bend and flex into your core. You can drop as low as you like, down to the elbows, all the way down, reclined on your mat if that's in your practice. Wherever you're at, really focus on lifting your heart and flexing into your core, bringing that belly button into your spine. Find that heart opener, that back bend. Three to five more breaths. If this is at all uncomfortable, come right out of it. more deep inhale, one last deep exhale. Carefully and gently come out of that hero's pose. Take your time to release the legs in front of you. Coming to staff for a moment and just lifting each heel, lifting each knee rather alternatively, getting some fresh blood flow back in your legs, your ankles, your toes. And then I'm going to take a second back bend into reverse tabletop. So from a reverse tabletop, we'll plant the feet, scoot our butt forward slightly, and we'll bring our hands behind us. 
So you're making that reverse tabletop like we did at the beginning of class, just upside down. So the fingertips will remain facing forward again. We'll plant into the feet on an inhale, lift the hips, lift the heart and drop your head back. Try to cradle your head between your shoulder girdle. Drop back as much as is comfortable and lift that heart. Belly button into spine. Breathe fully. Take in one final breath, deep inhale. Exhale back to your seat. Carefully bring the feet back together and we'll come right into a seated forward fold from staff pose, Paschimottanasana. Zip up the legs, inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward, bind wherever you're comfortable. Yogi toe lock, hands around the outside edges of the feet or anywhere on your legs, wherever you're at. About five breaths, folding forward, leading with your heart over each extended leg. Flex back toward your nose and breathe. Create space through your breath, linking it to this posture. Bit by bit, folding a little deeper. Take fire log, double pigeon. Coming to the center of your mat, we'll start by dropping the left ankle and knee down, stacking your right ankle and right knee on top of your left leg. So like two blocks of wood, fire logs. Eventually flex your feet together. Look down to see a triangle between your seat, leading your heart up. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, lead your heart center down. Maybe that right knee is wonky coming up a little bit. That's fine, it's just tightness in your hips. Wherever you're at, just focus on folding forward, leading with your heart, trying not to round the spine or pushing yourself. Just lead your heart breath by breath. Go easy on yourself. Not a race, no expectation. Just letting your body naturally open up through your breath. yourself back up and switch sides. Drop the right ankle and knee. Step the left ankle and knee on top of the right leg. Look down, stack your legs, fire log pose. Flex the feet a moment to align your, your hips. Lift your heart up on an inhale. Exhale to fold and hold three to five more breaths. Deep, deep breaths in. Deep releases out. In and out of your nose. Deep, fiery breath, Sujayi breath. When you're ready, carefully lift yourself back up. Release the legs a moment, shake them out, and bring your feet in together for seated bound angle. Your heels can come in towards your seat, or maybe your heels walk out in front of you for less intense of a hip opener. One last time, folding forward. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold. You can tuck the fingertips out and walk them out. You can bind around your feet. Wherever you're at, just lead your heart down, breath by breath. Listen to your body. Focus on the inhales and exhales to increase the pose. your knees in towards your chest and just drop your forehead, this time rounding the spine, forehead toward the knees. Coming 
into boat pose on the center of our mat. Take your time to get there. Plant the palms for a moment. Drop the seat, lift the knees. You can stay right here. You can bring the arms out. We're gonna hold a few breaths. If you're comfortable binding Yogi Toe Lock and straightening the legs, or leaving the legs straight, straight and then arms off to your sides. Get deeper into your core. You're gonna challenge yourself a different way. Wherever you're at in your boat pose, just take three more breaths, firing up the core one final time before releasing to our mat. Last deep breath in. Exhale, completely release down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Drape the legs down, drape your arms down and breathe. Full breath in, full release out. Inhale, bring your knees in for a squeeze. Exhale, drop them left, gaze right. Simple twist from a reclined position. to center. Exhale, drop knees right, gaze left. Take a few more breaths. Deep breath still in and out of our nose. Setting your breath to your twist, to your body. Focus on opening and releasing. center, give yourself a squeeze. From here, take happy baby if you're comfortable or stay rolled into a ball. Happy baby, the feet will just come up towards the ceiling, little yogi toe lock, these fingers around big toes, or bring the hands to the outside edges of your feet. Bring the knees closer to the ground beneath you, maybe rocking left and right in your happy baby. You can stretch each leg alternatively, if that's comfortable. Flexing the quads, opening up the hamstrings. Play around a few moments. Eventually come rolled up back into your ball for an inversion of your choice. Five to seven breaths through expression. Starting in legs up the wall, if that's comfortable. Stay right there. Shoulder stand if you'd like to, maybe plow to shoulder stand, touching the toes back to the plow. Shoulder stand, try to tuck the shoulders underneath you, lift up the legs, brace the lower back. A few more moments through expression, through inversion. Shoulder stand, maybe find plow. Everyone meeting and legs up the wall. And rattling the spine down eventually. Flexing the legs up. Take a deep inhale. And a count of five, drop the heels. Five, four, three, two, one. Shavasana. Final rest. Make your way comfortably on your space, on your mat, inside or outside. Legs splay open, palms flip up to receive that last bit of energy. Notice all that beautiful energy you've created for your body. Just flow throughout your chakra system, head to toe, your entire body. Radiating light, releasing st stuck and stagnant energy. Maybe take a gentle body scan as you take your final rest. So important for Shavasana for our final rest after our flow, after our practice. Maybe set on some tunes. Gentle body scan, head to toe. Releasing breath by breath, settling in. And enjoy your final Shavasana.
Thank you guys so much for sharing your practice with me. The light in me honors and bows to the light in all of you. Namaste.